Apparently. I think they're saying he recovered it, I believe. Let's see. At the one on a blocked punt. All right, congratulations to Gary then. Special teams comes into play. The Aggies have it. First and goal inside the one. And they come out with two uh, tight ends. Flanker left and a single setback. And I think McGee just snuck for it. He did. Aggies, 20 to nothing. Pretty good field position there. Scored <laughs> twice last year, did McGee. Gets his first touchdown here at 1349. That's a one yard drive. <laughs> and the Ags score on their first play of the second quarter. One yard run by McGee. Flag down play. Oh. There's a flag down. There's one, two, three of them in the end zone. One play, one yard, McGee. Ags now have scored on a one-yard run by Lewis, five-yard run by Lane, and a one-yard run by McGee. Cooper Castleberry about to talk to us. Illegal, Illegal patient 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 on, the on the defense. The penalties the declined. Penalty Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, it's a, there must, we go. They had 12 men on the field is all I can figure, huh? I guess so. Illegal participation. I, that's probably 12 men on the field. They didn't couldn't stop us with 12. <laughs> all right, here's the extra point by Zamansky. He has made two today. By the way, I think Chris Smith is deep snapping. And he is replacing Boone Stutz, who's now in the NFL. It's down, it's up, and it's good. It is a 21 to nothing. Texas A&M lead with 13-49 remaining. We've just moved into the uh, second quarter here with the Aggies up over the Citadel and about to kick off again. And he really trusts this leadership council. He he understood, He says they get it. They understand what's important, so he really listens to them. Here's the kickoff by Zamansky. They're coming up. Cooper at the three to the five to the ten. Oh, hit, and he goes Woo! down at the 12-yard line. Goodness gracious. I think that was Shankle again. Was it? I believe so. I thought it was nine. About eight on the return. Here's first down and 10, single setback for the Bulldogs. Lawson under center, throws out here in the flats, overthrew his man, it goes into the sideline. Behind the line, back about the seven, threw it way too high for Jernigan. McGee is four out of four, throwing in 60 yards today. Second down, same 10, shotgun, two wides, both sides. Quarterback draw to the 10, to the 15, looks for a block, got it at the corner, got a first down to the 22-yard line. Lawson just carries for a Citadel first down. Over on the far side is Brock Newton. He's back there. Melvin Bullock's here on this right side. He's cheated up on the line of scrimmage. First down, 10. Ball at the 22. Long snap count here by Loss, and he's got it. Hands off. Backfield, right side. Their left side, they'll give it to Goodrum. He's across the 30. That's a good carry. He got about nine yards of the 10 they need. It's time the Aggies and the Bulldogs have played. Second down and about a yard, single setback. Goodrum got the handoff, first down. He's to the 35, maybe the 36, 37 yard line. Again, he is a load, Goodrum. Go back and pick up some scores here in a moment. We'll get the opportunity in the Big 12. First down, 10, Citadel. They now have five of those. The Aggies have eight, 11.50 to go. In a shotgun, as he snapped. Drops back, throws wide open at the 37, across the 40 to the 44-yard line. Not enough for a first down. We'll end up needing three after Cooper caught it. He wides right, two on the left. Shotgun, snap it. Lawson carries, did not get a first down. He goes from the 44 to the 46-yard line. Picked up two. They'll be third down and a yard coming up. Here we go. Third down and a yard. Goodrum, the carry. I don't know. Oh, it's going to be so. tight. Boy, one, two, three, four. Aggies didn't on top get it. of him. And they have spotted it here very, very close. He's got his fist in the air. It's a fourth down. Sure they've, does. They've he already spotted it. it. Dodge and Warren are the linebackers right now. Alton Dixon's in the lineup. Here we go. High formation. Fourth down. Handoff. Goodrum. He got it. Straight ahead. They convert a fourth into a first across. Did he get across midfield? Hit near the 50 and down at the 49-yard line. So a first down on a fourth down conversion. Stop the clock. 9.47 to go. Second period. Aggies lead the Citadel 21 to nothing. Rand Lawson, quarterback, has put three wides on the right side. He's got two on the left. Been empty in the backfield day for the most part on just about every play. First down play. The Bulldogs has his snap. 
Steps forward, throws. That's a catch across the 50. They roll out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Cornette's call one for 12. Jernigan one for 10. They have all of their receivers who have a reception at just one. And now for Durant, he's six out of 11. He's throwing again. He threw incomplete. And there's a flag down at the 42-yard line. 15, Pass interference, interference on number 24, number 24 of, the of the offense. The penalty is 15, 15 yards, yards, and we'll replay, we'll replay second, down. second down. Maybe second and 20. 9.06 on the clock. Second quarter play at Kyle Field. 21 to nothing, A&M. Put a man in motion. Two wides left, three right. Drops back, throws. That's a catch at the 45, the 50 into the Aggie sideline. Not enough for a first down. That play was run from the 39-yard line after that penalty. Went in at the 46-yard line on this side in Aggie territory. Went 17 yards on the pass and run. Goodrum is carried now eight times for 36 yards. Last pass caught by Jernigan. High snap, shotgun pressure. Steps out of it, running at the 40, at the 35, the 30. And he's out of bounds across the Aggie 30. In the sideline he goes, does Lawson at the 26-yard line. That just went 19 yards. And they come to the line of scrimmage. Way out to the right side goes Andre Roberts. He is a freshman from South Carolina. They have two wides here at the bottom side of the formation. One of those is Marcus McKnight. High snap, hand off. They try the middle. Left halfback got it. Good for Second down, and they say six on the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage about the AM 22. Running back to the right, three wides right, option. Lawson cuts it, goes to the 20. It'll be third down and four coming up. Stopped that time by Chris Harrington. On the defense listed, three seniors, five juniors, two sophomores, and one redshirt freshman. That was on the media release depth chart. Not sure it went quite that way. High snap again on third down. Here's Lawson. He runs, breaks the tackle, spins across the 15, has a man around his ankles, goes down at the 12, got a first down on a third down carry. They just convert. Jonathan Batson stays in the lineup. They've made a number of substitutions here on uh, on this series. Marquise Carpenter is also out there. Yeah, particularly in the secondary. Marquise Brown is playing. Flags I think will they stop move. the play. They have foul start. Ball's at the 17-yard line. First down, 15, 6.50 clock rolling. Ags lead 21-0. We're making our way to halftime. Goodrum, the tailback. Goodrum got the handoff. Steps right, steps left. He's fighting for the 15-yard line. He got two on that. At the 15, he goes down. Red Bryant, 28 tackles last year, made that stuff. Jernigan goes wide to the right side. Domanski is here on the left side. And Gentry's here as well. Halfbacks either side of Lawson. High snap. Drops back. Throws. Caught. And he caught it at the seven-yard line. Back Not enough for a first down. That's Jernigan who Jernigan. caught it. That went nine yards. Okay, here's the third down. Left uh, halfback. Shotgun. Lawson steps up. He is sacked. Somebody had him around the ankles. He got away from that. Was that a Harrington? That was Harrington Kellen Hurd then first. made it. Kellen Hurd ended up making the stop after Harrington slowed him up with a grab around the ankles. Tried to step out of it, and as he did, Kellen Hurd just made that stop. Freshman redshirt Wharton, 6'6", 334 on weight. And he's been impressive during the fall workouts. They're going to try a field goal. It'll be spotted at the 19 angle back to the left. 29-yard effort. Here's Tom Turneyville. It's uh, Blake Vandiver is the kicker. The holder is Gary Domanski. The kick is up, and he split it, and they're on the board. 5-18 left to play in the first half, Dave, and Citadel has scratched. It's now A&M 21 and the Citadel 3. Gary Franks and Pierre Brown are back deep in anticipation of the kickoff by the Bulldogs. Franks the bottom man at the 1. Pierre Brown, the top guy, and about the two. Now both of them step up to about the two-and-a-half-yard line. Here's the kickoff. Going to have a chance to return it. Kerry Franks at about the eight to the 10 to the 15. Cuts back left, still trying to go left. Stepped out of one tackle, got to the 20-yard line. And the Aggies out to the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 at their 20 with 5.04 left. To second quarter play. McGee puts Raider in motion, and he just handed off to Brandon Leone, and Leone is swarmed as he hits the line of scrimmage well, at the 20. Leone. Leone, second down, and 10 at the 20. McGee empty in the backfields. 
Got two wides on this side. He's got two on the other. One of those, Martella spit it. He is throwing at Schrader. Schrader had it, dropped it down around his ankles. A little bit low. And that will be the first incomplete pass that McGee has thrown in the game. He's now four out of five throwing the ball. Total offense right now, 21 plays, 143 yards. Texas A&M, the Ags lead 21 to three. Citadel on defense, and the Aggies have it. Third down and 10 at the 20. Drops back to throw, dancing around. He will throw, and Andy is in and out of the hands of Martellus Bennett. He's diving for it a little bit low. Incomplete at the 29-yard line. Their return man is set up back here at the 35-yard line. I get an angle on that number here in a moment. They did not announce their return men in their release. I think it's Cooper. It is. And here is the kick. It's going to get a nice roll. Goes right by Cooper at the 20, inside the 20, the 18-yard line. Navy started to come up on that thing, and then he backed away. And all he could do was watch it go by. And the first effort of the year for Brandley goes 62 yards unofficially. So give it back to Citadel with 3.50 to go in the first half. Ags lead 21 to 3 over the Bulldogs. Empty again in the backfield. Shotgun. Lawson's throwing. He's going sideline. He is going to throw it into the Citadel bench. This is incomplete, intended for number seven. Second down play for the Bulldogs. Coming to this side, Demansky. Got one of those big tight ends. That's Taylor Cornett. 6'2, 238. Half back to the right of Lawson. Play action. Lawson throws. Screen to the right side. Ags all over that. Running him into the sideline will be Jordan Peterson. Just a great play. Very impressive. Got good speed. Going to be a good one. Third down play. Third and five. Play action. Lawson rolling to this side of the field. Throwing. And he throws it into the Aggie bench. Stop the clock. 3.31 to go until halftime. a and going to get it back. Leading 21 to three. Schrader standing at the Aggie 40. Good snap. Here's the kick. Good sailor. Schrader backing up at the 37. First man ran right by him. Second man won't. Gets it back to the 39-yard line. At the 39, it will be 3.20 to go. 40-yard kick. Nice punt there by Casper, the young man from Navasota. High formation. McGee moves up under center. And Steven is four of six throwing the ball today. And it's Alexander, the fullback. Courtney Lewis is the tailback. McGee turns around and says something to him. As he snap, rolls right, looking to throw on the run. He does, and it is incomplete to Taylor out near midfield. They're going to get us for a hold here, Dave. I saw it. Babalola, Elder, Wallace, Dickey, and Clark were slated to be the starters today in that offensive line for Texas A&M. Two minutes and 55 seconds to go until halftime. Ten-yard penalty. The Aggies now penalized twice for 20. It's first and 20 at the... 29-yard line, Aggie side of the 50. Play action by McGee. Under pressure, he's going to dump it off here to the right side. He had a man in that direction, Chad Schrader. Courtney Lewis will line up to the right of Stephen McGee. Martella Spinett went in motion, and there's a flag. 25-second violation. False start. Cooper Castleberry. Prior to the Prior snap, to snap, an illegal an snap, snap by number, by 70, number 70, 70 of the offense. Of the offense. The penalty is five yards, and it's still second down. Leone to the left, Lewis to the right. Martella Spinett's flexed out, flexed out here on the right side. Drops back to throw. He will. It's coming this way. High. Caught it. Schrader at the 36-yard line. Well, uh, that's going to end up being a third down and 14 coming up, or about 13. That went 11 yards right there. The Chad Schrader, so it's going to be a third and 13 now at the Aggie 36. Put a man in motion. Leone will come up and set up just behind McGee. Play action. They're coming up the middle. McGee running for his life, coming to this side of the field. He's going to throw it, and he throws it into the sideline near midfield. The nearest receiver was Schrader, and he was way across midfield, down around the Citadel 40-yard line. So they chased him out of the pocket. Line of scrimmage again, the 36, 2.04 to go until halftime. Punt teams out there. Good snap. Pressure up the middle. Good sailor. Cooper backing up, still backing up. On the run. Caught it back at the nine. Starts his return. There's a good block on the corner. Another good block. Broke a tackle. He's across the 30, out to about the 37-yard line. AM has a string of 19 wins in a row and home openers going back to the 87 season when we lost to LSU 17-3 opening day of 87. Last time we lost an opener. First down and 10. I on well, a single setback, a little run in there. Goodrum got it after they ran into each other. Lawson handed it to him, and he carries for nine yards across the 45 to the 46. 
Second down, one to go at their 46 Citadel. Lawson, now he's under pressure. Running to this side, he throws, and that is a catch, leaping catch across the 45 at the 44, caught by Gary Demansky. First down, 10, Citadel, Aggie 44, minute 21 to go. The Aggies leading 21 to three. Lawson throw it out in the flats. That's Cooper across the line of scrimmage at the 45. He carries to about the 41-yard line, and I believe they will burn a timeout here. They will. All right, second down, six, minute 15 to go. Empty in the backfield. Here's a throw. That is incomplete. incomplete. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Here's the third down play. Running back to his left. High snap. Rolls left away from the pressure. Backside being chased in and out of the hands of the intended receiver at about the 23-yard line. Tyler was the man, I think, that had it for a moment. It might have been Gentry. All right, fourth down. They went forward fourth and about a yard earlier and made it. This is fourth and about five and a half. Lawson, high snap, sets up, lofting one, coming to this side, overthrew everybody. Goes incomplete at the 19. The receiver was still well outside. The 20 was intended for Gentry. Aggies will take over with exactly one minute to go until halftime, leading at 21 to three. All right, McGee, Lewis to his right. Loaded it up on both sides, short side to the left. They're going to throw a screen. That's a catch. That's Schrader, 45-50 across the 50. Has a first down at the 47-yard line. He'll stop the clock to move the chains. 39 seconds to go. The Aggies have two timeouts remaining. That went 12 yards. He wants the clock play. He'll, he's going to down it as soon as they – there it is. Downed it. Cost him three seconds. Second down. From 39, it went down to 36. 36 seconds to go. Second down, 10, the Aggies. The Citadel, 48-yard line. Hash left, running back to his left is McGee. Steven barks signals, drops back, sets up, starts to look around. Now he's going to, a little soft toss. Lewis, first down. He's out of bounds. Across the 35 to the 33. He's down the Aggies, 28 seconds to go. First down, 10 at the 33. Citadel, 33-yard line. Empty in the backfield. Three wides on this side. Here's McGee looking around, still looking. He throws. He's got a passer on the sideline to Lewis, who reached up, caught it, and then fell out of bounds at the 30-yard line. He got three yards. Right at quarterback, parking signals. Long snap count, has it, throws, and that's knocked down, and he is hit as well as he tries to get rid of it. Batted down, third down, same seven coming up. Now 19 seconds to go. Aggies have two timeouts remaining. All right, first down, 12 seconds to go. Ball at the 19. Let's see if we just don't go zone on this one. Martellus is here on the right side. There is the snap. Blitz. McGee, he Blitz. is hit. Timeout. And uh, Blitz caught him back across the 25 at the 28. Stopped the clock seven seconds. Called that timeout. The last football game he played, his last game in high school, he kicked a 51-yarder. That was in the state semifinal game against Euless Trinity not even a year ago. Now you say, like you say, Dave, 43 yards. There's going to be a slight angle to his left. Zamansky, the true freshman who finished high school just a couple of months ago. Here's the snap. Here's the hole, the kick. It's got plenty of leg, but it's just wide right. Missed it. Boy, he had plenty of leg on that one. He would have made that one from about 53, 54, but just sprayed it right. We'll take the snap. Lawson will go down on a knee. I'm not even sure if that's Lawson out there right now. Yeah, it was. And there's the knee, and that is the Number first seven, half. Aggies lead the Citadel down at halftime, 21 to 3. Halftime coming up. This is Aggie football from Learfield Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, now forming at the north end of Kyle Field, the nationally famous Fighting Texas Aggie Band. Marching with the Aggie Band for the first time on Kyle Field are 116 Aggie Band fish, class of 2010. <laughs> 